Bill Gates is giving away all his money. His philanthropic efforts have saved millions of lives, and he plans to give away the vast majority of his $128 billion fortune before he dies. Gates spends billions fighting diseases and climate change, but he also likes to splurge from time to time, if that's okay. His real estate portfolio is constantly expanding. Gates owns everything from mansions to hotels. He even owns more farmland than anyone else in the U.S. When he's not saving the world, Gates spends his time admiring his collection of rare paintings or cruising down the coast in his Porsche Taycan. This is how Bill Gates makes and spends his billions. Bill Gates founded Microsoft in 1975 along with fellow programmer Paul Allen, and success came relatively quickly. In 1987, Gates became a billionaire at just 31 years old thanks to successful products like Microsoft Windows and Microsoft Office. His net worth topped $100 billion just before the dot-com crash, but when the bubble burst, his wealth tanked by more than $30 billion in just a few hours. It would take decades for Gates' net worth to top $100 billion again. Things are very different today. Gates' net worth is no longer tied to Microsoft's share price, and he now owns just 1.3% of the company. That small stake is worth about $20 billion, but Gates has donated more than $35.8 billion worth of Microsoft stock to date. Bill Gates' investment portfolio is far more diverse than the portfolios of fellow centi-billionaires Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. Since resigning as Microsoft CEO in 2008, Gates has primarily focused on philanthropy, but that doesn't mean he won't spend money on himself. Like his close friend and fellow billionaire Warren Buffett, Gates has a reputation for being frugal, so it might surprise you to learn that he owns a sprawling estate in Medina, Washington that's worth about $132 million. Gates bought the property way back in 1988 for just $2 million, and today, it's practically heaven on earth. The 66,000-square-foot mansion on the property is worth $63 million alone, and Gates has spared no expense making the abode both comfortable and luxurious. The mansion, which is affectionately named Xanadu 2.0 in honor of Citizen Kane's house from the film of the same name, has a 60-foot pool, trampoline room, and a high-tech sensor system. The eco-friendly mansion is even built into the surrounding hillside so the interior temperature can be regulated more efficiently. If Gates is ever away from Washington State, he has plenty of places to stay all around the U.S. because he owns half of the Four Seasons Hotel chain through his holding company, Cascade Investment. He's also part owner of the Charles Hotel in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Gates is also a bit of a cowboy as he owns numerous ranches throughout the U.S. He owns an $18.9 million horse ranch just outside Santa Fe, California called Rancho Paseana. The 228-acre thoroughbred training center has a racetrack, guest house, office, veterinarian suite, orchard, and five barns. Gates also owns an $8.7 million horse farm in Wellington, Florida because his eldest daughter is an avid equestrian. The 492-acre ranch Gates owns in Wyoming is both valuable and historic. The $8.9 million property was once owned by Buffalo Bill and is just a short drive away from picturesque Yellowstone National Park. The property has a spacious hunting cabin, guest house, caretaker's house, and dairy cabin. The vast majority of Gates' real estate portfolio is made up of farmland. He's the largest individual owner of farmland in the U.S. and owns more than 242,000 acres. We're not sure exactly what Gates plans to do with his $1 billion worth of farmland, but it probably has something to do with sustainable agriculture. Gates owns 69,071 acres of farmland in Louisiana, 47,927 acres in Arkansas, and 20,588 acres in Nebraska. You'll find plenty of expensive cars in Bill Gates' garage. He's particularly fond of Porsches. His car collection is worth more than $5 million, and his favorite auto is his Porsche Taycan. Of course, it's electric. Would you expect anything less from someone as environmentally conscious as Gates? The Porsche Taycan Turbo S starts at $185,000 and can go from 0 to 60 in just under 3 seconds. The 750 horsepower electric supercar is fast and powerful. When Gates purchased the Taycan instead of a Tesla, Elon Musk was a little upset. Musk took to Twitter and wrote that his talks with Gates had been underwhelming. You'll find plenty of other Porsches in Gates' garage, but he doesn't drive them as much because they're not electric. He likes to lower his carbon footprint as much as possible. His $293,000 Porsche 959 is equipped with a 2.8-liter twin-turbocharged engine and can reach a top speed of 339 kilometers per hour. 
Gates $113,300 Porsche 911 CS has a 3.8-liter twin-turbocharged six-cylinder engine and can go from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in just 3.7 seconds. He once owned a $189,000 Porsche 930, but sold it many years ago. The car was too much temptation for Gates. He reportedly received three speeding tickets in a single weekend when he was driving the speedy Porsche from Albuquerque to Seattle. Gates doesn't just drive in style, he flies in style too. He used to fly coach, but now he gets around in his $40 million Bombardier Global Express private jet. Gates only uses sustainable jet fuel, and he spends as much as $7 million every year to offset the family's aviation emissions. The Bombardier Global Express can seat up to 19 people, and Gates has referred to his private plane as a guilty pleasure and a big splurge. Gates doesn't own a yacht, but he does charter luxury yachts fairly regularly. A few years ago, he rented a luxury super yacht at the cost of $5 million per week to travel with his family along the coast of Sardinia. What an amazing way to enjoy the crisp sea air in the Mediterranean. Bill Gates is an avid art collector. He set an art record in 1998 when he bought Winslow Homer's Lost on the Great Banks for $36 million. The purchase was the most expensive sale in art history at the time. The stunning work of art now hangs outside the library in his Washington State mansion. Child Assam's The Room of Flowers, which is worth about $20 million, hangs inside his library. In 1999, Gates paid $27.5 million for George Bellow's Polo Crowd at a Sotheby's auction. Gates also owns William Merritt Chase's The Nursery, which is worth about $10 million. Gates's favorite piece in his collection is Leonardo da Vinci's Codex Leicester. He purchased a one-of-a-kind handwritten scientific journal for $30.8 million. Bill Gates doesn't display all of his paintings. He keeps some in storage and admires digital versions. His Washington State mansion is equipped with $80,000 worth of computer screens. The screens hang on the walls, and images can be changed with a touch of a button. Bill Gates may own a lot of extravagant items, but he gives away a lot more money than he spends. In 2010, Bill and his wife Melinda founded the Giving Pledge with Warren Buffett. The charitable campaign encourages the world's billionaires to give away most of their money before they die. More than 200 billionaires from 23 countries have signed the Giving Pledge, including notable billionaires like Jeff Bezos' ex-wife Mackenzie Scott, George Lucas, Oracle co-founder Larry Ellison, Mark Zuckerberg, and Elon Musk. Bill and Melinda Gates have personally donated more than $50 billion to charity since 1994. In 2000, the pair formed the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which aims to fight poverty and improve health care in impoverished nations around the world. It's the largest private foundation in the world, holding $46.8 billion in assets. The couple has personally donated more than $36 billion to the foundation so far, and the charity has been instrumental in reducing outbreaks of diseases like malaria, polio, and tuberculosis. Thanks to Gates-funded vaccination drives, the measles mortality rate in Africa has dropped by 90% since the year 2000. Eradicating diseases is just one of Gates' goals. He also wants to end the climate crisis. In 2015, Gates founded Breakthrough Energy, which aims to accelerate innovation in sustainable energy and green technologies. The organization invests in startups that focus on biofuels, nuclear fusion, and renewable energy. Gates has personally invested $2 billion in the company and plans to invest billions more in the coming years. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that Gates plans to leave his children just $10 million each? It's not a favor to kids to have them have huge sums of wealth, said Gates. He wants his kids to find their own way in life. However, even a $10 million inheritance is plenty of money. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for this channel for more great videos.